Greetings everyone, and welcome back to Astroneer. Today we're going to be doing work around the base, and mostly we're going to be working on gas, because we do need to get gas collection going. Well, by gas I mean atmospheric resource. There's two of them on this planet, but we need to start getting the technology going because we're going to have to do it on other planets. As a matter of fact, we're probably going to have to start getting into the habit of building full bases on other planets because carrying things back and forth is going to start becoming a problem. Now, we're not flying anywhere today. We are going to be making preparations for our next trip, and I do know where we're going. There's a couple of different reasons for it. It is, however, probably going to be the last trip of this shuttle. He is going to be joining Junior over there, waiting for the large shredder to show up. Because we want lots and lots of space, and unfortunately, that does not really help us very much. No, it doesn't. Another thing is we're going to start getting away from the solid fuel thrusters, these guys here, because they are a little on the expensive side in terms of the ammonium. What we're going to get is we're going to get the hydrazine thruster, which is basically reusable. And all we'll have to do is load fuel into it. All right, so the first thing here is you might notice that I do have more platforms. I made two more. Uh, I actually put the extra RTGs over here. Uh, yeah, see, here's the problem with nighttime. We're not getting any of the um, solar, of course. But then the wind will just decide, no, we're not going to do anything. So at the moment, I don't really want to consume that much, even though I do have another battery. In our last episode, of course, we went to Novus. We went there for two things. The big thing we wanted is, where is that here? Did I put it over here? That's copper. There's iron. All right, we're going to take the iron out. Uh, we Actually, we got hematite, and I turned it into iron. So there's 14 in there. We're going to need it, so I'm going to leave that out for now. As a matter of fact, I couldn't help but notice that I was having a little bit of a problem with aluminum. Yeah, I only have five left. So I did go down below, and I came up with 23 laterite. So, I mean, that would be really kind of painful to put them in there one at a time, but, you know, we don't have to do that anymore. Here, we're going to put the uh, aluminum right there, right? And then we're going to take the laterite. When you cook that, it turns into aluminum. Uh, by the way, it's getting a little bright here, so turn that off. Right, so here's the thing. Nothing is happening because nobody is outputting anything. So if I go over here and I set output, it's going to take the laterite, it's going to put it there, and it's going to turn it into aluminum, which is what you're seeing on top. When it's done, it's going to put it in here because there's already aluminum in this container. So there's five there now. And you see it just gobbled it up. So basically, this is going to be an empty container when we're done. And what is... Oh, that's just sticking out of the container. It's waiting for one of these to open up. But when we're done, we're going to have all the aluminum over here. And this one is going to be empty. Very, very useful indeed. By the way, just for giggles, I put this thing over here because it kept sliding off of the shelter. So I don't know what's going on with that. Oh, and that reminds me... I just realized that I had extension cables. So we never did open this thing. So hold on a minute. Let's, oh no, no, I don't want that. I want to grab this. Okay, hold on a minute. Uh, is that far enough? I might need another one. So let's take this and put this over here. Because if you remember, this one needs an amount of energy. Not like the bars that'll fill up over time. It takes the energy all at one time. And if you don't have it, then it won't work. All right, hold it a second. You plug in there. And then you plug in there. And boom, it's open. And of course, we have ourselves a research sample. Which does remind me, it does remind me indeed, that we obtained something on the last planet and I did not open it because I was curious about how much was going to be in this research item and I figured we'll open it together all right at the moment I have 20,579 probably going to be spending some of that so this 
I guess that was 5,900. I was kind of expecting a little bit more because the one we got on DeSolo was uh, 5,600, I believe. But it's still good. And you know what? Why don't I just leave this on the ground and we'll take care of that when this is done. How did I get organic? I don't remember that. Now, I do know why I have plastic. Because, of course, we need to build the atmospheric condenser. We're going to put it over here. So I needed plastic and I needed glass. I think I also need to unlock it. And of course, one of the big reasons we went to Novus was that we needed iron. So I'm going to enable output. I'm going to grab that and then I am going to disable output. So it goes right back in. All right, let me just check quickly. I do believe it's three and it's on this line right here. Yeah, atmospheric condenser. That's going to be one plastic, one glass, and one iron. All right, and I do believe it is the uh, medium printer we need for that. So let's see. Smelting furnace, soil centrifuge, atmospheric condenser, the gas collector. Now we're going to complete a mission. And it's going to be a very useful mission indeed, because when we uh, make the condenser and then produce like a full nodule of gas, uh, we're going to get a very nice toy from this. All right, so let's in the meantime start talking about our next destination. So obviously there are some things that I need. And there's also some missions as well. Oh, did we complete that? No, it's still going. Uh, let's take a quick look at this. Oh, right, right. Digging deeper. All right. So this is one of the things I was talking about. There are things that are pointing us at a planet. It's not an easy planet, but it will have the things we need. All right. Digging deeper. This was just gathering malachite. I think I was supposed to do this on Kalidor, but I did it in the mountains here. So if I collect this... Okay, that sounded very big. Okay, I see. Okay, peculiar piece. What is this? Okay, it doesn't look like our little exo base, does it? Actually, it kind of looks like a train station, doesn't it? All right, hold it a minute. Uh, just kind of drop it. Let's see. I do believe, yes, please deploy on Glacio. All right, for the moment, let's do this because that's a mess. All right, so obviously we need to bring this to Glacio. So let's put this over here. All right, hold on a second. We brought a seed back with us, so we'll put the seed over here. And then we'll just take this thing and put it in there. Right, so our next destination is going to be Glazio. Now, there is something else, too. Here. New structures detected. Locate the, install the installed platform on Glazio's North Pole. So we're going to have to... Oh, we're getting seeds for the pet that we got on Solo. Remember, that was his favorite one right there. I guess I may have to plant two of them just to make sure I can make more of them in the future. Because there may not be any other way of getting them. Not that I know of, at least. Yeah, because that was the one... Yeah, I haven't been feeding them. I feel terrible about that. Yeah, mutant hispane seed. So I'm guessing that's the way we get it. Okay, that's fine. Um, which means we have to find the platform on Glacio, and we also have to plant that on Glacio. Uh, here's the thing. If I make a um, landing platform on Glacio... I'll bring one with me or I'll make it or something like that. Where is it? It was forward progress right here. Uh, place a landing pad on another planet. That's going to get me a buggy and a rover seat, which means it's going to get me essentially this. And all I would need is an RTG plugged into it and it'll just go forever. So the thing is, I would be able to explore that planet. And it seems as if when I go to Glazio, I'm going to have to look for that structure. 
to at least identify its location. And of course, we can put a platform down. It'll be easier to land in the future. See, here's the thing. We might have to land on the north to find that platform. I mean, it might be a designated landing area, but chances are the gateway's not going to be there. So I'm going to have to have two locations. Um, I can put everything else there and maybe just have like a shallow thing at the gateway because the big thing I need to do at the gateway is to activate it. And I really can't do that until I have an RTG. And I can't do an RTG until I have nanocarbon alloy. By the way, I think this is done now. All right, so this is the atmospheric condenser. See, here's the problem. This thing is big. I'm going to need this on another planet in order to um, gather gas. So my choices are to stick this in there or to make it on that planet. So that could be an issue. We'll have to see about that. All right, where? Oh, we're going to put it over here. All right, so this gathers gas. So let's just open this guy up. Yeah, unfortunately, it's also very... Um, energy consuming too. the process i do seem to remember that these things are expensive and slow all right so the way this works is let's just go right in and examine basically you're telling it what gas do i want to get now hydrogen not a problem it's got like a 75 rating for the hydrogen argon not enough to even care methane nope nope nitrogen that's 100 we can gather that one Basically, it gives you the opportunity to get all of them. Yeah, that exists on one planet. Worst planet in the game. That's all. Yeah, hydrogen. Why don't we just grab some hydrogen? All right, so what it's going to do is it's going to make a little nodule here, a little node, and it's going to fill it with five helpings. So we'll come back to that. But, I mean, this thing devours power. Yeah, you can already see here, it's probably going to start impacting these guys already. Although, is the uh, the wind is going, so that's actually good. And also, daylight is coming, so it shouldn't be that much of a problem. All right, now you can see the node right there. See, there's basically five possible nodes in there, five helpings of it, and that's the third one. Now, as soon as that's complete, I believe we're going to finish a mission because I had to make this and then I have to have a full node. So this one here is, uh, of course, that's hydrogen. We can also do nitrogen. For the moment, I am just going to hold on to that because there is actually something we can do with this. All right, right there. So that is a full node of hydrogen. And just for the giggles of it, I'm going to put it over here because that's the um, the chemistry lab. All right, now what I'm going to do is, just so we have both of them, we're going to make a node of nitrogen. That should actually happen a little bit faster. All right, you'll notice that I completed a mission. So let's just jump right in here. From thin air... Okay, print an atmospheric condenser, produce a full gas resource. I'm going to get a medium gas canister and, of course, the schematic for doing that. Right, so there it is right there. And, of course, I can make more in the future. So this is very much like these guys. Oh, by the way, you can see this one is full. We have 28... Um, Aluminum in there now. I might as well just put this back. Uh, we can just put this right in there. There we go. And this one is now completely empty. See, it's not for laterite anymore. It's for whatever goes in there next. All right, so we can actually shrink that and bring that with us where we're going. Or use another one. I think I have another one lying on the ground somewhere. Is it around here? Yeah, right here. So uh, I wanted to do some collection for that because you need plastic and you need uh, carbon. So I actually did some organic gathering and then cooked it, which is the reason. Where is it here? Well, I actually have a decent amount of carbon right now. Okay, so how are you doing over here? All right, so this one right here 
is nitrogen. And like I said, for giggles, what we're going to do is we're going to put them over here. Because let's face it, this is where I'm going to need them. Yeah, right there. All right, now, one thing that we can make, and it's going to be very good for the future because it's basically rocket fuel. So if I grab one ammonium and two ammonium, I'm just going to carry them with me here. I think this is also a mission, by the way. All right, let's go over here. Plastic, uh, aluminum alloy, tungsten carbine. We can do that if we needed it. Graphene, yeah, graphite and hydrazine, which, by the way, is what I'm about to make. Diamond, if we want to do that. There you go. Did you notice that it grabbed the, um, the hydrogen? So I have the two ammonium on me, and it was attached to some hydrogen, so it just kind of grabbed it. It's going to use one of the nodes for this. All right. So that's going to cook up some hydrazine for me. We need hydrazine for a lot of different things, including making other elements. It's one of the many, many parts of nanocarbon alloy. Okay, and of course, we just did a whole bunch of things here. So this is hydrazine. This is basically rocket fuel. Now, if I take this off and I put it back here. Oh, oh you know why it's doing that? It's doing that because I have that recipe up. Here, go back. There we go. That'll do. Oh, you put it on the behind there. It's not what I wanted. I wanted to see it right there so you can see it used one of the um, the nodes of it one of the uses so each one of those basically when you make them complete has five so I just use one there so let me just uh, hold on to that for a moment because I do believe that we fulfilled a mission fuel for thought produce the resource to fuel future exploration which is hydrazine oh they're going to give me the hydrazine thruster for that and the schematic to make another one. I don't think I can make that. I do believe that needs steel. But then again, how many do I actually need? I only really need one. All right, so this. So let's just make that. Now this is different from these. You see, after two uses, that turns into garbage. As a matter of fact, I think when I put one over here, it kind of fell through the world. So there's a third one down there somewhere. And also remember, to make one of those, I use an ammonium. This is a bit more um, reliable. So this is kind of forever. At the moment, I'm not using it, though. But what the way this works is that you would plug that in like that. See, there's three places where you can plug in the fuel. And if you look at it right now it says that it's got 34%. In other words, a third, right? It's got a third of it in there. I forget how much that actually allows me to travel, but it does let me make more trips. So it is far more efficient, and you don't have to be wasting the um, aluminum. Because remember, it's ammonium and aluminum to make one of these. But I do have that one, and I also do have the spare over here. So I might as well just use them up first. Because after all, these things are going to be expensive. Because I'm going to need a lot of ammonium. We did see it on solo, so we can go back there and get a ton of it. I do intend to fill one of these big containers with ammonium. Definitely. Because that is a very, very important item. Because that's our rocket fuel. We also use it for other things as well. All right, so what we're going to need when we travel, and we should probably talk about where we're going. All right, so things that I need. First of all, we've already seen that there's a couple of missions that I need to do on Glazio. So why don't we just talk about Glazio for a moment? All right, over here, and we're looking here, and then let's go to Glazio. Glazio is the second most dangerous planet, though. All right, so Silva, we've been on there, to Solo. Now, Kalidor. The one thing I'm going to need on Kalidor here is sulfur. It's an easy place to get it. Now, Malachite in the caves, I suppose, that's a good supply of copper. It's kind of hard to find in the mountains here. Generally speaking, when you have a situation where there's an element in the caves and there's an element in the mountains, the one in the cave is a lot easier to find. Now, remember when we were on Novus. 
We had no problem finding hematite for iron, but lithium, I had to travel and I didn't get a lot of it. It's just the way it works because especially when these planets become more dangerous. Now, in terms of lithium, yeah, lithium on, uh, on this planet is in the caves, so if I needed a lot of it, I could get it there. You might notice the titanite is there too, but nope, we're not going there. We're going to Glasio. Glasio gases has argon. Argon is what we need for steel. We need argon, we need iron, we need carbon. The other two are not a problem. We need to come here and we need to get argon. So when I land on this planet, I need to be able to gather it. That means I'm probably going to have to make some kind of a base. We'll have to see how that works out. Now, titanite. Yeah, that is in the um, caves. That I need a lot of. Hematite in the mountains, that's the iron material. I don't really need that. I do need the titanite. I do need the argon. So here's the thing. I do believe... Where did it give me that? Yeah, this one right here. This is the medium gas canister. That's going to hold a whole lot of gas. I think it holds 160 or something like that of those. The way it works is you would drop these on top and such like that. Yeah, and there is a reason why I'm not opening it, by the way, because I don't want to use it here. I want to fill it with argon. That's what I'm thinking in terms of. And if you're saying, well, you got the schematic for it, so why don't you just do that? Well, you know, I'm pretty sure if my memory is right, Medium battery, medium storage, we're looking for medium, oh, by the way, yeah, the hydrazine thruster, see that? An exochip and steel. Well, I only need one, so I'm good to go. Now, I seem to remember medium printer, shredder, that's the big one, that's the solid one that we've been using. This is the gas one. Silicon. I don't think I can make silicon. No, I do not think I can make that at all. Is that titanium that I need for that? Here, hold on a minute. Chemistry lab. Um, Methane. Okay, so that's the problem. See, resin isn't a problem. Quartz isn't a problem. I need methane. Which means I'm not going to be able to make another one of these guys until I go to another planet. As a matter of fact, why don't we just kind of identify what planet that's going to be. Uh, back over to planets. So we're looking for methane. Okay, we can get sulfur on Kalidor. We can get argon and nitrate. See, this one here, if I'm getting argon from the other location, it's not really very necessary. The big thing here is going to be the lithium in the caves. So I can get a lot of it. Novus. Yeah, we can get methane on Novus, can't we? Right, but I'm going to have to set up a, um atmospheric resource collection system, otherwise known as the gas grabber, right? Uh, Glasio, that has argon. And, of course, this one is the, um, very hard. This is the scariest uh, planet in the game. Things here will kill you. The thing is, it's also a wonderland for um, gas. Helium, this is the only place you can get helium. And you need helium for nanocarbon alloy. You can also get methane and you can get sulfur here. So if you have a gas set up right here, you can get three very important things. We don't need nitrogen since we can get it here. But uh, yeah, you'll notice description, choked on atmosphere, aggressive flora, treacherous terrain. This place is ugly. But unfortunately, like I said, nanocarbon alloy, that is the only place you can get helium. Methane, though, we can get methane on Novus. But first things first, we do need to go to Glasio. Glasio is going to get me argon, which is going to get me steel. That's going to allow me to uh, make other things. Now, in terms of the titanite, of course, that's going to turn into titanium. The great thing about that is I'm going to be able to make the medium silo, which is a very wonderful thing. It's kind of like these guys right here. Only it's a big cylinder and it holds 24. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. You say, well, wait a minute. This guy holds uh, 32, but it only holds 32 of one type of thing. Whereas you can put whatever you want on the silo. I need two titanium for them. 
So if we go to Glasio, I can get titanium and I can get argon. Clearly the titanium is going to be the easy one to get. I may just have to construct a whole base over there. Because otherwise, I mean, the thing is, this was a large thing and a big large box. I may have to make another one, but I'm going to have to power it. I'm going to have to be able to uh, bring this other container with me too. That's kind of the reason that I have this small is because I would just have to package it anyway. And that's what I want to fill with argon. Yeah, it's going to be a big mess. I'm very likely just going to have to construct a whole base from scratch. I'm probably going to have to bring the medium generator with me. But I am also, at least in the beginning, going to have to bring carbon. Because I'm going to need a lot of power. Uh, just bringing one RTG is just not going to do the job. See, this guy here produces 9 units of power per second when it's cooking the, uh, the carbon. Uh, this guy here is 10 and this one over here is 9. Of course, it's zero at the moment because it's not doing anything. At least this one's turning. It's just not turning very fast. And then it stopped. Yeah, wind is very unreliable. But then again, the, the sun only comes out for half the day. Anyway, I do believe that that is going to be it for now. So I'm going to have to make preparations because we're going to Glasio. And I need to get a lot of things together, including the ability to make a landing pad. Yeah, we're going to have to go there and we're going to have to build a base from scratch. That way I can grab the gas I need and that way I can get the titanium I need. Uh, it's going to be a lot more advanced. I'm going to have to start doing this in the future. Because, like, for instance, whenever I need um, argon and I need titanium, I'm going to come to this planet. So I need to have a landing pad and I need to have everything set up so I can do that. Yeah, so I guess we're off to Glasio in the next episode. I have a lot of work to do in the meantime, so I have to figure out how much I can build and how much I'm going to build there. Because I can't bring these guys with me. You know, the um, soil centrifuge, which I'm going to need, and also the smelting furnace. I'm going to have to build them there. The other one, that one, I'm just going to carry with me. But it's going to be a big old mess. Anyway, that's going to be it for now. If you enjoyed the episode, please give it a like. Maybe say something in the comments for the Great God algorithm. And of course, subscribing is a great way to show your support. So thank you very much for your attention. I really appreciate it. And play games, because games are fun. See ya.